na pag-usapan na natin last week ang proper budgeting. Choosing between high-end versus budget-friendly materials. Up to finding the right financial services to assist you without breaking the bank. And now that we get that out of the way... Aba, pwede natin simulan ng pagpili ng ating dream home by choosing the right location for our house. Napakahalaga ng pagpili ng tamang location for our dream home. Lalo na a home should always serve as a safe place. Hindi lang basta relaxation at comfort, kundi lasting memories para sa ating pamilya. Pero ano nga ba ang dapat natin consider sa pagpili ng right location for our dream home? Bilang isang single mom, hindi magkandamayaw sa pagbabanat ng buto as a massage therapist ang nakilala naming si Geraldine Espinosa. Hindi biro ang kailangan bunuin sa pang-araw-araw ni Geraldine, lalo pat pitong anak ang kanyang kailangan buhayin. Sobra, sobrang hirap pero nakaya naman sir. Wala pang sariling bahay si Geraldine at nakikitira pa rin sa tahanan ng kanyang kapatid. Bukod pa riyan, hindi rin daw maganda ang lokasyon ng bahay. Maliban sa masikip at makalat na kapaligiran, kulang na kulang din daw sa access sa mga esensyal na serbisyo dito. Bagay na lalong nakadadagdag sa kanyang pagkaburyo. Ang hirap kasi dito sa tubig, then wala rin kaming kuryente. Pag tumaas yung tubig, mababasa po kami. Hindi kami makalabas. Dagdag pa sakit din daw ang lokasyon ng bahay. Apat sakay before ako do, ma, dumating sa, ano, sa work ko. Gusto ko kasing doon sa, ano, sa malapit sa trabaho ko kasi mayroon ding kuryente, tubig. Kahit sino naman ay sasakit ng ulo uh, kung mapupunta ka sa sitwasyon ni Geraldine na imbis na pahingang na idulot, aberya at bangungot ang naidulot nito dahil sa maling lokasyon. So to avoid such problems in building your dream home, baka kasama natin ngayon ang dalawang ekspertong architect na magbibigay sa atin ng valuable tips sa pagpili ng right location for our home. We all know that when we pick a site, when we build a, our house or dream house, it will always be location, location, and location. We need to select our site properly and to analyze our site appropriately as well. Pero ano nga ba ang mga dapat i-consider when conducting a site analysis for our dream home? Just to give an anecdote, if you're familiar with the movie The Last Airbender, there are four tribes. So these four tribes actually just represent the key aspects in what to look out for the site or to look out for a property. First is earth, so we need to look out the topography of the site, the location of the site, where it's adjacent to. It could be adjacent to a body of water, a terrain, a mountain, or those aspects. Then water, if it's a body of water, what are the things that you need to consider if you are beside the body of water? Air, so if you have your neighbors or neighboring buildings already, this affects also the wind flow in your property. So for the tribe fire, we need to look into how the sun actually affects the site, the solar movement during different times of the day, which areas of the property is being hit by the sun. So this could help us optimize daylighting and such. Next question, Architect Neil. Paano nga ba nakakaapekto ang environmental factors na ito in finding the right location for our homes? If you're near to a body of water, these are actually potential for flooding. So pag terrain naman, pag nasa steep slope kayo, these are also important to notice kasi pag the site is too steep, if we disturb too much the natural slope of the site, it's landslide prone din. Pag nasa flat slope naman tayo or flat terrain tayo, tapos nasa lowest elevation tayo, then we are also in the flood prone area. Maliban sa natural environment, ano pa nga ba ang mga dapat i-consider? When we visit a property on-site, we need to look into also the neighboring conditions. If you live in a place that's too crowded or it's too noisy, it also affects our well-being and our peace of mind. Mahalaga rin daw na matukoy agad ang infrastructures near your target location. 
you need to look into if there is access also to communication because it is vital. Even if walang cell phone, may mga internet providers naman ngayon na satellite base, so you don't really need mobile signal. Another factor to consider then ang accessibility. If your work is located in the city, then most likely you need also to select a site or a property that's closer to where you work or where your children goes to school. We need also to look into how the traffic goes about going to your property and to your workplace. Part 1 pa lang yan ang mga dapat niyong i-take note sa paghahanap ng ideal location for your home. But stick around dahil marami pang tips na isashare sa atin ang guest architects natin sa pagbabalik ng iHeartPH. Done with our site analysis, ang susunod na step sa pagpili ng tamang location for our dream house is ang site selection criteria. And to give us his expert opinion, aban nandito si Architect Robert. Architect Robert, take it away! Ang pagsa site selection, ang um, isa sa kailangang i-consider is yun nga, yung priority. Different families have different requirements. Gaya nga ng sabi ni Architect Robert, different families have their own different needs and priorities when it comes to choosing the right location. Kaya naman iba-iba rin ang possible scenarios for each home. Some will prioritize a location where they can build a family. If it's a family with young children, you need to consider kung saan mag-aaral ang mga bata in the future. Ultimately, they will have to go to high school and then college. So, Maybe you have to balance out yung location ng bahay mo so that the children don't have to travel very far regardless of the level of schooling or education that they are at. While others will prioritize growth. If for example, there's a young couple and then they don't have children, one of the things that they can consider is kung ano ba yung hobbies nila. It might be ideal for them to have their place or have their house located somewhere that is closer to the mountains or somewhere that is closer to the sea for them to be able to perform these activities. For homeowners who choose remote work, mahalaga talagang i-consider ang location na malapit sa communication infrastructures. Whatever you are doing in your work is done online. So aside from the activities or what you wanted to do on your downtime or kung wala kang trabaho, you also have to consider yung utilities ng site. Is there enough electricity? Baka parating nagbabrown out sa site? Or is there internet connection na available? Or do you have to invest on infrastructure so that you can do your work as well remotely? For retired couples naman, most retired couples that we've known or that I've known would like to, yung parang priorities have already changed. Ayaw na nila sa hustle and gulo ng city. Yung iba naman is gusto mag-farm. Then it might be ideal if the location has ample space for farming as well. Or if not ample location for farming, may malapit na lugar kung saan sila makakapag-farm. Hmm, sa totoo lang, Mahirap daw taga makahanap ng tamang location that will tick all of your requirements. Pero hindi to nangangahulugan na hindi ka makakahanap ng paraan to address the gaps. So in terms of infrastructure that covers utility aspects, internet, water, and power. So for power, we can actually buy solar panels. So parang off-grid yung power source natin. So for communication, you can buy the satellite-based internet communication it's expensive but once you have that you'll be paying a very limited amount monthly for water naman it is also important that we need access to accessible potable water if you don't have access to water that means any wastewater that you have you need to buy a machinery or equipment that actually recycles your wastewater lifetime investment ang bahay kaya naman napakahalaga ang right location for your dream home so, iba-iba ang priorities ng bawat homeowner, kaya dapat laging sumangguni sa mga eksperto. Kaya ang mapapayo lang ni na Architect Neil and Architect Robert. It will have to really depend on kung ano yung kaya. If 
kayang bumili ng property na malapit sa place of work regardless of medyo mahal siya then you can buy that so that you can reduce the time needed to travel pero kung medyo alanganin sa presyo maybe you can look out somewhere in the suburbs it is vital actually and essential to pick a site where you're most comfortable with so it doesn't really matter if the value of the land is low or the, the value of land is high or what neighbors are cramped or whatever. As long as you're comfortable and you feel safe, that's the most perfect site for you.